What did I tell you fellas about shooting? Aim small, small, miss small. small. Aim small, miss small. Boys, Samuel, steady. If you aim higher than you expect, you could reach higher than you have ever dreamed. The idea behind aim small and miss small is that in war, if you were to aim your gun at a man and you miss, you would miss the man completely. But if you aim your gun at a button on his shirt and miss the button, you would still hit the man. On the other hand, Richard Branson said that if you aimed higher than you expect, you could reach higher than you ever dreamed. So which is it? To test this, I experimented over a period of three months. In the first month, I aimed small to see if I would miss small. I aimed for 100 pull-ups a day for 30 days, which would give me exactly 3,000 pull-ups at the end of it. I then rested for a month and started the second trial. In the third month, I aimed big to see if I would achieve big, like Richard Branson said. I aimed for 5,000 pull-ups in 30 days. Before I started, I took some baseline measurements as outcome measures. I took my chest and proximal arm size and my maximum amount of pull-ups per set. In the first month of 100 pull-ups a day, there were days where I was just too busy and had to do pull-ups at 1 a.m. And as expected, I got 3,000 pull-ups. Interestingly, my pull-ups became a lot more bouncy, no longer sluggish. This is because my fascial system and other connective tissues gained in elastic storage capacity, taking on rubber band-like properties just like kangaroos and gazelles when they bounce. On the third month, I hyped myself for 5,000 pull-ups. On the first day, I got 210 pull-ups. On the second, I got 200. On the third day, I got 100. And on the fourth day, I got none. On the fifth day, I got zero. I picked it up again, I got 100, then 110, then 150, then 20, and then 10. And then I got zero again. I kept thinking that I had already made up for it. So I let myself have rest days. If I was too busy, then F it. My hype didn't last. It was more of a test of my mental strength and determination than it was a test of my physical strength. On the last day, I only got 2,600. Of course, it wasn't a perfect experiment and far from it. There was no blinding, way too much bias, and I had a sample size of one. I actually started to hate how vain this experiment started out. Instead of superficial outcome measures, I learned how important it is to pace myself, to aim small, to miss small, but actually achieve what I set out to achieve. Maybe I got a bit stronger, but I was able to do more pull-ups because my body learned to adapt, performing the movement more efficiently. Oh, and one last thing. If you live in Subang, PJ, Puchong, KL, or places around these areas in Malaysia, check out sharehalves.com. It's a platform to get homemade food and drinks like cake, bread, kimchi. They even have kombucha where you can personalize your own fruits. Don't worry about it.